is a new day and I have something. I mean, this is a new piece. This is what you're going to see now, at least for this video. Okay, so I have a multimeter here. And I'm going to set it to voltage. It's a very cheapy one. And I'm going to measure some of these batteries. A dodgy double A and a triple A. This one's a little bit undercharged. That's a bit dodgy. So you see here, this is an iCAD battery. I don't know if I said that right. It's 3.6 volts. So let's measure it. That. It's also a little bit dodgy because it's measuring 1.6 volts. 1.2 volts, I mean. Yeah, it's measuring 1.2 volts. That's a bit undercharged. And this also measures. One point two volts. But this measures one point six volts. And this is a lithium ion battery. It's an ultra fight, not an ultra fire. This is a knockoff of Ultra Fire and of Samsung. I don't know. And now, this is 4 volts. Ah, ah, no. My batteries. And this is also 4 volts, because these were on that charger that I showed you. Ah. And this here. I like keep turning off. It's clearly very much undercharged. It's 0.18 volts. It's probably another ultra flight. Ultra fire. It's 3.7 volts, but when we take it over here, measures 0.20 volts. 0.18 volts for precision thingies. If we take our motor, you see, it doesn't do it. But if we take our motor here, it also doesn't really do anything. I don't know if you can hear that, but it works. Hopefully you could hear that. It was spinning. And this one here, uh. Ah, jeez! Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, that's way too much power for this tiny motor. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that background noise was. This is an undercharged. Sorry about that, that was just a little bit of background noise. And, yeah, this is 3.1 volts. So... Maybe not like fully charged, yeah, not fully charged. These ones are like 2.2 .2 volts away from being fully charged. 3.3 volts and... There's dogs in here, there's dogs in here. And 4 volts. And... Four volts. Whoa! Eight thousand eight hundred milliamp hours. That's as like much as. That's more than my phone has. Except. He's a thick boy. It's fake. 
It's a fake thick boy. <laughs> So this one here, and I'm measuring it with the voltage pin. Oh, oh, I'm measuring the wrong one. Wait, where's the, oh, there's the other one. That's zero volts, what? Yeah. It's 0.17 volts, so you can just Check this in the trash. I should not do that. That's very dangerous. And also, if you're wondering why the the like the the thing is to like measure like this work on, it's because they fell off. Yeah, and these are just from like a broken one here. And you see, it's broken, it's gone, and you're probably like, well, why don't well why don't you just take it out and stick it in the dingus? Well, they don't fit. Uh. Okay, well, I mean, I guess these fit kind of. But barely. I never knew that these could measure voltage. I only thought that they could go. Well, I mean, I knew they did a lot other more things, but like I just, I, before I thought like, oh, do you go here? And then you measure voltage like this with a milliamp thingy. But that's not 92 volts or Wow, my battery is so, so powerful. Wow, my battery is so undercharged. Eight volts. Much more power with eight volts, eight volts, eight volts, eight volts, eight volts. I want to see what happens. Can I measure ten volts? Wrong way. What? Ah, oh, she said, put it backwards. Why isn't this working? Oh boy. Whatever. Does one work? Yes. And the backlight just turned off. Okay, I'll clean this up. Bye. Or oh, actually not bye, I'll clean this up. Okay, there we go. Now it's all cleaned up nicely for you. Okay, so bye.